Just into our newsroom, Governor Rick Scott just addressed the humanitarian crisis in Puerto Rico. He spoke in Kissimmee just minutes ago saying how Floridians are stepping up to help Puerto Ricans get the help they need and how he's working to figure out the best way to get those supplies to the island. I've talked to all those port directors to find out a process that we can make sure that it's going to get there, it's going to get the people to, to help them. Meantime, there are a number of people from Puerto Rico leaving for Central Florida as the island still deals with power outages and a shortage of supplies as well as damage from Hurricane Maria. News 6's Vanessa Ariza joins us live now from Osceola County. And Vanessa, what's going on there? Well, Julie, Governor Rick Scott just finished up a press conference with the media here. In fact, he's on his way out. He just got tagged by uh, another media representative getting a quick interview and finishing that. But basically, he was telling us that on his way here to meet with volunteers who have been collecting aid relief for Puerto Rico, he spoke with the governor. They are working on logistics on how they can get Florida help to the islands and a lot of things that people want to know right now is we have all of these donations but how do we get all of these items to Puerto Rico and the people who need it and Governor Scott was saying he is speaking with representatives in each different port here in the state to see when they can send shipments over to the island relief help now another thing that we want to touch base on that Governor Scott was talking about there are Puerto Ricans we're going to see an influx coming up farther north here to the state of Florida to get out of that storm ravaged island. He said that they that he and his office, they are working with school representatives, different organizations to try to find a way to house these uh, people, make sure that they have jobs, make sure that they have a roof over their head. And that's a big concern, especially for uh, other organizations, Latin organizations here in the central Florida area. We actually spoke with the president of one of those Hispanic organizations. She says they, like government officials are working with other agencies to get prepared. Take a listen. We have been checking to see how as an affiliate of them we are going to be able to have counselors because we have our load of work every day but here in the center of Santiago and Friends right now we are concerned when these family come are they bringing all what they need when you have a child with special need? Because maybe in Puerto Rico, the doctor that you used to visit doesn't have electricity or doesn't have all the documents that you need. And we brought that question up to an Orange County commissioner earlier today. You're going to hear from her coming up tonight at 5 and 6 and what Orange County is doing specifically in order to try to uh, get ready for that potential influx of Puerto Ricans who will make their way to Florida. Julie. Vanessa, thank you. Vanessa Ariza reporting live. Meantime, Senator Marco Rubio took to Facebook to address the issue with a focus on the federal response to the crisis. I'm concerned about San Juan. The situation there is very bad. We have three or four staffers from my own office that landed there today. They're going to be embedded at the EOC at the convention center. And we'll have a lot more flow of information and the ability to immediately assist because we have personnel there. But the areas outside of San Juan is the ones I'm deeply, deeply concerned about. There are areas that haven't had communications for seven days, no electricity, no uh, potable water, people on dialysis that haven't gotten dialysis in seven or eight days. That is a life-threatening condition. Rubio says federal support is needed when it comes to the infrastructure on the island. And he says more power crews are needed to restore energy to get life back to normal. One of the main issues with getting aid to Puerto Rico is the number of limited flights, since the flights that are making it through are being used for those much-needed supplies. 